We're here outside the main entrance to the IT. The famous fish is one of your main landmarks to know, and the bus stops there as well, so it's also useful to know. So the main entrance is just up there behind the fish. Over here is the student centre building, where the students' union obviously are, and there's loads of student services and the student union shop. And as we move around here, just to give you a little bit of bearings of what is where in the building, you can see here the engineering block is this large grey building over here. The now famous owl uh, piece of artwork will show you where the business innovation centre is. Just beyond that is the Knocknaray Arena, which has all the sports facilities and sports hall. Moving on into GA pitches and the athletics track. And again, just to let you know where you're going when you're on the campus, if it's your first time here. This will be the main entrance and exit of the college. It brings you down towards the hospital. Let's say if you're going to Strandhill Beach or Rosses Point Beach, most people would head out this way and head over to the Bundoran Road. And then up here is another exit as well. This is kind of more up towards the, uh, where all the student accommodation is. So you can head off up that way as well and uh, a few other places over there that you might frequent later in the night. So we're here at the main exit of the college and we're going to take you on a little tour of Sligo Town itself. So from this gate, if you're heading out, out the gate to the left, the traffic lights are just up there and you take a right and it's a straight walk into town, down the mall, past the hospital and all that. So we're going to take you on a little tour of the town now. Okay. We're here on the mall, which is one of the main thoroughfares down into the town. If you look up here, that's your way back to the IT or you'll be coming from that way, I should say. Hospital's also that direction as well, so you'll get to know all these places. And if we just spin down here again, this will be the main way most of you will walk from the IT down into the town centre itself. And as you look down ahead on the road, you'll see to the left there the famous Leitrim Bar, where plenty of you will be frequenting. So we're down here at the bottom of the mall here, so just behind me is Stephen Street, where you'll find all the main banks. And if you keep continuing, it's a straight road all the way past the cinema, out to the bus station, so handy to know that. And just if we come back here behind me, this is going deeper into the town, this is down into Bridge Street, which will take you down towards the river. And we're going to take a look down there now and show you a little bit around there. So we're down here now on the bridge in the middle of the town, overlooking the lovely river. And along here is where you find loads of the late night venues. There's tons of cafes, restaurants, bars. If you look back over here, you'll see Lola Montez over here to my right. And across the river there, we've Anderson's, one of the late night venues where the students will be hitting the town. Starting off on this side of the river, you have uh, Best Burgers in Ireland here at flip side on the corner. And as you see down along the river, there's loads of bars, restaurants, loads of cafes, a real hub along the river here for a place to come, chill out of a coffee, or if you're coming out for late night. And just over there beyond the trees is the, the famous Garavogue Bar, which no doubt some of you will be popping in there at the odd time as well. But no, a lovely area down here uh, to chill, get a coffee, meet your friends. And some of the big festivals that happen in Sligo during the year also happen in the car park just over there beside the Garavogue and the Snug Bar. So we're down here in Tubergall Lane, which is also known as the Italian Quarter most famously known for Bistro Bianconi, the beautiful pizzas, sit-in takeaway, all coming soon. Down along here you have Two Coast Cure, which is a fabulous burrito spot. We have beautiful French bakeries down here. We have Hooked, which is a wardrobe <coughs> restaurant, which is really worth a look inside, just to the interior alone. And then just swinging out there behind me to the left, that brings you back down onto the river again, so that'll give you an idea of where you are. So we're here at the Lady Erin statue, which is another good landmark to know your way around the town. This is deeper into the town again. Just up here is High Street, loads of stores and shops and everything up there. Quite a number of uh, hairdressers and beauticians up there actually if you're looking for that. Just down across here then to my right is Castle Street. And along here we have a huge store, Sports Direct, which is everything you need. There's Call of the Wild, there's loads of cafes, infamous Kate's Kitchen. And then uh, File and Centre is one of your late night delis and Jalan Jalan's another student favourite. And then if you just follow me over here, this is onto Grattan Street, home to the famous EJ's menswear, which I know a lot of people out there know, but not just EJ's menswear, there's loads of menswear stores, there's Caleri's, there's Adams, there's Corner Shoes down there, or here's Cafe, but this will lead you on, if you follow me, down onto the main thoroughfare, which is O'Connell Street. So this hopefully will give you a little bearing of what it's like to walk around the town. So just down here, and if you musicians, the record room is here on our left as well, which is all your supplies. And we'll take you down to O'Connell Street next. We're here at the top of O'Connell Street, so just down behind me is, which I mentioned earlier on, that's Stephen Street where all the banks are, and that road will bring you straight down to the college if you're trying to get your bearings. And then just over here at the top of O'Connell Street, as I said, is where we are, so down this, this street is the main street in the town. You'll find loads of shops, bars, cafes, and the infamous Pennies and Tesco are located down along here as well, so you'll be popping in out of here plenty during your college career. On the other side of the top of O'Connell Street, if you just come up this side here, we're onto Wine Street. And again, just to get your bearings, this is like a straight road from the college that I pointed out earlier on, right through the town. It'll bring you all the way over to the bus station and the train station. So I'm here at the entrance into Wine Street Car Park. As I said earlier on, famously known as Tesco Car Park. But just to show you a little further up Wine Street, up here behind me, you'll see the cinema. And just beyond it is the entrance into Keyside Shopping Centre. And if we pan around into here, 
just to show you into Wine Street Car Park, there's loads of shops, loads of parking in here, entrance into Johnson Court as well, and Tesco itself. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour of the town. Of course we didn't get to see half the places, but no doubt in your college career here you'll get to see all the wonderful things Sligo Town and beyond has to offer. There's a website of Sligo Walk, Sligo Tourism, Sligo Food Trail. There's so many things in town to show you where to go to get all the activities that's on. And as I said, uh, make sure you get into town, enjoy the live music scene in Sligo as well. There's just so much going on here. So no doubt you'll get to see more and more of it as you're here in IT Sligo.